have been watching my 600 pound life probably more than I should have. It seems to be that that's what I'm using right now to just like shut my brain down. Anyway, so I've been watching my 600 pound life and just really being hit by the hopelessness of that show. Um, I'm just watching these people go into Dr. Now's office, reporting their numbers on the scale, saying that they are doing everything that they can to lose weight. And then Dr. Now just simply saying like, the scale doesn't lie, it's not good enough. And it's really interesting to me because I'm sure that there's more that these people could be doing. And, and my brain goes to two places in this. Is one, when you're that heavy and you're acutely being faced with life or death if you don't make a change and you're not changing, I feel so sad. I feel so sad for that because at any point along the way, whether you're the size of me, bigger than me, smaller than me, we have choices that we get to make that can allow us to live a longer life or to shorten our life. And it just is amazing to me that so many people continue to make these choices. And even when it becomes like in their face that they are hurting themselves with their choices that they make every day, they don't change what they're eating. They don't change what they're eating before they go see Dr. Now. They're waiting for Dr. Now to say, go on a 1200 calorie diet, you know, eat meat and not carbs eat less fat, they don't do that for themselves. And I just, to me, it's just, why are people, why are people hurting this badly? Why are people so addicted to food for comfort that they still do this? Like, I, I, like choosing food over their life, loving food more than they love themselves. Anyways, it's just something I'm percolating on because I think that that's an important message in this health thing. And then the second thing is obviously like, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but Dr. Now doesn't seem to talk about like inflammation and all those sorts of things. But in my head, I guess if his food plan is literally meat and veggies, he's probably addressing inflammation for the vast majority of people. But yeah, it's just, um, I'm watching the show and my brain is just sitting here watching their behavior, kind of like a little science of, experiment in observation and thinking how do I help people love themselves enough to choose their life over food to love themselves more than food more than ice cream more than cake how do I help you do that input I'd love any answers you have or support